Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to Yahakim, pushing this word in sincerity and in truth back into the lesson. And I came across this uh, this clip, which I'm going to play. It's uh, it's on Comedy Hype, Comedy Hype's page, but it's really a Fox News clip or whatever. This guy named Jason Whitlock <laughs> made a statement. It was dealing with uh, what happened with the five police officers uh, beating the uh, beating the one guy to death. But he made a statement about single moms in the black community. Now he got all these uh, <laughs> these women and these men upset about what he said. But actually, when you listen to what he said, he was telling the truth. And I really don't know too much about this Jason Whitlock guy, but I guess a lot of people don't like him. But he was telling the truth, man. And if you read through these comments. Uh, it shows just how much uh, 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 destruction, right? Uh, our people are based, basically, that's where I'm looking for. How much bullshit our people like to uphold is the right way, all right? Because in these comment sections, you got everybody making every excuse <clears throat> about how it's, you know, how it's a good thing to be a single mom, how it's a good thing to have the black community like it is, you know, uh, these people can't see the writing is on the, on the wall and the judgment a hey, that, that's coming. All right. Because, uh, who's, it might be some new people watching this video. Uh, if you're a so-called, uh, a, a black person here in America, you are an Israelite. All right. And if you are an Israelite, your, your book is the Bible. <laughs> all right. Cause you got plenty of black people claiming that they're, uh, Christians, but they do not follow what's written in these pages. All right. Dealing with order, dealing with family. OK, because if you are, are a woman. And you were a man. Right. <clears throat> you have children. There's an order to that. OK. And this society is wicked because basically it usurped and took the power away from the man. And that's why you do have a the lawlessness, the emotional man out here, uh, robbing, shooting, killing, doing all this crazy shit. <clears throat> Because you have so many uh, fatherless homes, so you can understand. But anyway, let's get into it. I felt guilty putting that video on the screen, not because I was on anyone's side. I felt I felt obviously bad about it. It was horrible. And this is a story about young black men and their inability to treat each other in a humane way. It looked like what young black men do when they're supervised by a single black woman. And that's what they got going on in the Memphis Police Department. They've elected some uh, or put some black woman in charge of the police force. And we're getting the same kind of chaos. And, and what he's saying is true, man. I've been in plenty of stores where you got a, a black woman, a single black woman with a whole bunch of kids. No man in sight. And them kids are in, in whatever place they're in running the fucking muck, man. All right. Running a damn muck. Tearing up shit. All in the way. So that you no, know, what he said is a hundred percent on point, and it rubbed a lot of people uh, the wrong way because our people hate correction, man. All right, <clears throat> they see correction as something that's bad. But anyway, let's keep going. And disunity and violence that we see in a lot of these cities that are run by single mothers. If we want to discuss the breakdown of family that leads to disrespect for authority because there was no male authority in your home let's have that discussion they want to take us down the path of saying you know what this is tucker carlson's fault this is some random white this is donald trump's fault and then he go off at the end but it is they fault too because they set up the scenario of taking the father out the home they set up the whole welfare system of taking the father out the home and giving you benefits if the father is out the, out the home so it is partly those people fault also all right. <clears throat> but anyway, let's get into the scriptures to prove that all these these so-called Christians, they believe in God. I believe in the Bible. So let's see, see what the Bible says about the role of a woman. All right. Let's get into that. First scripture I'm going to get. is in the book of Titus, uh, chapter two, verse three, it says the age woman, likewise, that they be uh, in behavior is become of holiness. And we, we can look around and you know that's not true, man. You got the old woman, what, in the club, man? A twerking it, a <laughs> driving it, a showing their uh, uh, daughter, a, as they say, the 304 ways, man. 
to play the field. Don't settle down. Okay. All that, uh, you know, pervasiveness they push it on the in, into their daughter's mind. So they, they do not fit these scriptures. All right. Now, I will say this to the women out there that do see the early ways who have repented, who have come kept come back to who they truly are as an Israelite. All right. Living these uh, statutes, these laws, these commandments and having faith in your how about Shimei was shy. Uh, hey, that's a beautiful thing, man. But that's going to be few and far between. All right. That's going to be few and far between. So I'm this is basically dealing with the masses of people out here. Because a majority of Israel, two thirds to be exact, will be destroyed. And if you go into that comedy hype, uh, <laughs> hey, comment section, you'll see exactly why, man. All right, sitting here praising fucking dysfunction. Let's keep going. It says not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they teach the young woman to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. I'm strong. I'm independent. I don't need no man. I can do bad all by myself. We ain't heard it all, man. All right. That's what's being pushed. It's especially. All right. In, in you southern kingdoms uh, communities, you so-called black people communities. That's what's being pushed the most. So you can understand. All right. It says to be discreet, chase keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of the most high be not blasphemed, man. All right. <clears throat> There's no order, no order good to their own husbands, not uh, a sleeping with everybody, because according to the scriptures, a hey, when a man sleeps with a woman, that becomes that's that's his wife, man. And that man becomes her husband. And that man, a <laughs> a that man possesses that woman. That's according to the Bible. All right. And let's get that. Let's get uh. Actually, let's get that. Ecclesiasticus 36 and 24. He that getteth a wife begetteth, begetteth a possession. All <laughs> right. A help like unto himself and a pillar of, and a, a pillar of rest. And that's what a, a real woman supposed to be to her husband. A pillar of rest. That's her duty. That's what she was put here for. All right. Not to uh, get some fucking degree. Not to think that she's better than some man. Not to sit here and, and preach to you uh, feminist ideals. Right. What the modern woman pushes. OK. So a he that get up a wife uh, begin a possession, man. All right. That's why you got the whole what is that? The whole uh, you got the MGTOW, the red pill. Now they got the passport bros. And what are they primarily looking for? Submissive women or wives. Right. Which the Israelite <laughs> woman is not. I hate to put it that way, but it's, it's absolutely true. Now, it might vary tribe to tribe, but overall, all these women are becoming more and more out of order, man. Extremely out of order. Let's get a. Uh, let's get a. Uh, First Timothy, chapter five, verse 14 it says, I will, therefore, that the younger woman marry. Right. Bear children. OK, guide the house, give now an occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully for some are already turned aside after Satan. Right. So even in that time period, hey, you had woman uh, going off, man. So how much more right now? OK, they set out the guidelines of getting married, having children, guiding the house. That's really your that's your position. And a lot of women don't like their position, man. But you're sitting in the church every damn uh, uh, Sunday. <laughs> Talking about praise the Lord when you were in violation of these scriptures, man. A fucking walking, talking hypocrite. All right. That's exactly what you are. You see. Uh, let's keep going. Let's get first Corinthians. Chapter 11. And uh, I guess the point is in three. It says, but I would have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai, and the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Yahweh Shai is the most high, Yahweh. So that's the order right there. That is the absolute order. <clears throat> All this stuff about, uh, you know, equality, 
women's rights. <laughs> hey, this, that, and the other. That's the order, man. And if and if women would be in their proper order, guess what? They would actually be, be more happy, man. These career women is working these uh, 40, 50, 60 hour jobs. All right. Putting everything on hold till they get old and uh, gray. Talking about they want to have kids at 45, 55, 65 years old. Career woman. Hey, these women are not happy. You can see the shit on their faces, man. All right. They ain't happy getting up a <laughs> being in a job 10, 12 hours a day, man. All right. <clears throat> if they were in a position, guess what? Hey, they'll be at, at the house guiding children, doing this and the other. And we know we're really not going to get that back until uh, a, the kingdom is set up. All right. Until this current kingdom goes down. All right. Pursuant to the Bible. Hey, but we know hey, that that's coming, man. And we know this whole black culture and this, uh, uh, <laughs> hey, this simp culture. And uh, hey, your black woman can do no wrong for the sisters. All that shit finna go out the window, man. The Lord is 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 going to bring great a hey, discomfort, great death upon the people. Two thirds of Israel are going to be cut off pursuant to the scriptures. That's going to happen, man. All right, the remnant, the elect. That's going to be a, a small number compared to the majority of Israelites, because the majority of Israelites heard this man talking about single mothers, hey, and they got their panties up in a bunch, right? Like I said, I don't know too much about this Jason Whitlock guy, but that point about the single mothers, uh, you know, how these men are acting out here, they have no sense of of control. They're not used to a man telling them any type of orders because they don't have no, they haven't seen a man. He got put out, right? When he was, uh, you know, a, as soon as he got out the mother's womb, that's the, the scenario and the reality of what's going on in the so-called black community out here. All right. I think that was pretty much it for this. Trump's fault. It's the breakdown of family and the buying in to all these left-wing things that have nothing to do with promoting family. Now, there's a couple things that... Right, but that was that's pretty much the point. <clears throat> family, structure, order is what the guy's talking about. And when you go through these comments, man, it's always, you know, a special case. Oh, uh... I know somebody had two parents. They ended up like this. I know this. I, you know, it's always an outlier. It's always an argument. Instead of making a, the rule should be a, your husband, the wife and the children in your proper order. That's what it should be, man. <clears throat> you know? And these people on here, uh, <laughs> you, these people right here, man, they had a big, big problem with what he said, man. You know, but anyway, that's the point. I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. Shalom, and next time.